Hi guys, thanks for coming. So please comment. Please comment guys if you already in. Hi. Hi Noazrin. Hi Joseph. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, shit. Okay, how about the others? Okay, please share this video before we start. Okay, maybe we give a few minutes before we uh, before I start. Okay, let's say if you have any question, you can ask huh, through our uh, through chat box. Okay, we will start uh, another one minute. Okay, make sure you have uh, at least page 3, uh, 7.3, eh? I think 7.2 also can. As long as 7.2, 7.3, eh? Okay, maybe we can start. Okay. So, the requirement for this uh, trail, for this tutorial, is uh, you must have at least 7.2 or 7.3 yeah okay then make sure you already downloaded uh, and install composer okay so you can uh, like me I, I i'm installed via brew so we you can install php uh, 7 uh. so like me uh, because I'm using uh, uh, making torch right so you can install via group so this is uh, uh, I think this is PHP 7 PHP 7 group okay. so I think there's a lot of um, instructions huh? okay I assume you already installed PHP 7 Point two and above, okay. Then uh, you can down. Uh, you need to have a uh, composer, okay. Okay. So right, so can install um, using command line or either command line or Windows, okay. So if Windows, maybe you can start with this huh? therefore ESC file here you can download composer setup so yes yeah okay so for those already uh, use laravel so the concept uh, install lumen is quite similar okay. 
then you need to uh, have you need to have um, postman okay we can we want to test the API because we will build a simple microservice using lumen okay so it's a lumen a lightweight uh, micro framework uh. okay compared to laravel is quite heavy okay then web server you can uh, use depends on uh, on you guys so like me i'm using mem if you want to use wham or zam it depends on you uh. it's up to you so like me i'm using mem right so this mem okay so you can okay so my voice have already start up then i'm using uh ng engine x okay engine x then my sql okay so this tutorial we will be using my sql okay right then um Okay, you can check the but I'm not showing you how to upgrade your PHP because um, different machine uh, different setup okay so how to check you can type PHP dash V yeah? so you can check your PHP version right so if for if for the composer let's say once you install right if you type composer inside your terminal it will show like this okay so we we'll have a composer like this okay and then postman this one postman okay we will test our micro service here okay i think clear okay so I think we can start now. Alright, to create a new project, okay, open your terminal, this one. So you guys can see my terminal. So um, you can type uh, change uh, change directory to your desktop, okay. And then uh, you can create a, a blank lumen project using this command. So composer create project Laravel lumen. Okay. Then this uh, project name lumen block. Okay. So lumen block. And prefer this. Enter. Okay. So later on, a new folder will be uh, created right here. Let's see. It's a new folder, new project. Okay, you guys can hear my voice? Guys, can you hear? Guys, can you guys can, can hear my voice? If yes, please uh, comment. Eh? All right. So if you have any questions, you can ask. All right, so done. So once done, you can close this terminal. Oh, loud and clear, nice. Then open which uh, like like me, I'm using VS Code ah. Okay, so you can uh, sorry, Lumen Lock. Okay. Uh, hi, Rigza. You from uh you from where? Muhammad Riza Afnan. Okay. So this is your lumen. Okay. Then you can uh open uh wait wait wait. 
let me check huh? okay so uh, you can test either your project can be uh, can be run or not okay you can test it via uh, terminal so open your terminal like, like me i'm using VS code so i i have uh, built-in uh, terminal lah. right so if you guys want to use command line or terminal command line or cmd yeah things uh, it's okay right then you can type okay so it's a uh, difference i think it's different compared to uh, laravel so laravel if we want to run the app we need to type or the command will be php artisan serve so if lumen so php s localhost so the port number then public enter okay so once done you can type ah this here so localhost what localhost so this your lumen okay so lumen 7.0.3 indonesia ya yeah. kita bersaudara <laughs> okay so this is how how it looks like once you uh, up and running your uh, lumen pro, uh, app into your browser all right okay so next so we want to use uh, if you guys have uh, experience in uh, building a uh, web app using laravel you can use uh, php at, uh, artisan command to build such as like controller model okay or you want to check the, the route list okay you, but in lumen they don't have that kind of thing so you need to install the the artisan okay the the, the command ah. because some of the uh, commands not available inside lumen okay so what what you need to do is you need to go to this website right so uh, you can search lumen uh, generator So I I show you some example. Eh? So let's say if I want to create a new controller, right? So let's say if I if I want to use artisan, okay, and then make controller, okay, make model lah, okay, make model. Let's say the model ah uh, post, okay, and then with the migration file, if I enter, okay, see, make model is not defined. So you need to install the lumen generator okay so open this website so once you install you can use that uh, the, uh, uh, like usual lah similar to uh, laravel okay so uh, you can copy this okay so available command you can create uh, key generate controller blah 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 like so most of the, of the time, I will use uh, controller, then model, depends lah. Okay, so install, then enter here. Okay. So installing. You hey guys, no questions? So far okay? Okay, so far so good eh? So far so good, nice. Okay. So, once you're done, okay, you can, you can, uh, okay, don't forget to, um, I think you need to go in, uh, okay, so they have a configuration right so open your uh, bootstrap so according to this docu uh, documentation uh, bootstrap and open app.php file then you need to copy this line of code so copy and then open bootstrap ok 
Okay, we're going to say app dot php. Okay, and then you, you need to put inside this file. Lah. Okay, and then save. Okay. 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 Next, you need to um. I think you can use the. Uh, you can. You, we can create a new controller. So we can type. Okay. So you can type PHP. Artisan. Okay. I think try PHP artisan. Okay. See, you can use the. We are uh, the command here. Okay. So PHP artisan. Make controller. Okay. Then uh, you can create a post controller resource. Okay, once you create new controller, then a new controller will be add into this uh, directory. Yeah. Okay, and okay, this is the the full uh, command. So PHP artisan make controller post controller dash dash resource okay once done you uh, enter okay, click enter then you create a new controller just been created all right so next we will uh, create a new model okay so how to create a new model type php artisan make model okay make model post so this is your model name then m for migration uh, file then we will add a new model and inside app folder then a new migration file inside migration so once you enter right so a new model and then a new migration file so if you notice there are no user more uh, user migration file eh? Because it's a lightweight, right? So they want to reduce the size. Okay. All right. So next, you go to your inside a PHP my admin here. Okay. It's up to you. Ah, you want to create ah uh, using ah uh, command line, uh, right? But for this, um, I create. I will create a new database using PHP my main. Okay, then you can type a new database called Lumen Block. Then create so a new database just been created. Okay. All right. So next, you need to open your migration file here. Okay, take a look closely. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay, you need to update this file. Okay. So go to uh go inside uh this schema. Okay. So you can type. Uh, you need to. We need. We uh our our planning is. We want to add an, uh, new, a new two two attributes, okay? New attributes, which is two attributes, huh? So first attribute will be title, and second attribute will be body, okay? How to do that is type this, okay? Just follow me, okay? String title, okay? And table, okay? So we will be using this as a text lah, so medium text lah, right? So good, right? So okay, draw is this. So let's say if you want to roll back, so it will drop the post table lah. Okay, once you done update this, uh, you add, uh, you just now added two attributes. You can run the mic, uh, migrate ah. So PHP artisan. Migrate. Okay, so before that, okay, before that, 
uh, you need to uh, update your database credentials okay if you click enter we will, so because no connect uh, database connection uh, yet right so open the env here then you can uh, type your database name so uh, oh sorry lah rabbit lumen log then username like mine i'm using root database or root okay so uh, i think for windows you can just uh, okay uh, uh wait ah huh? okay so i think for win I, i'm not sure for uh for linux because I'm using mem, okay. If I uh, I'm using mem, and then I'm a Macintosh user, so I need to have a new. Uh, I, I need to add another uh, new uh, new setting uh, for DB socket. Okay, if I didn't do uh, if I didn't do this, right. So i maybe the connection can uh the database connection will be fail lah. okay so to make sure it's successfully connected so you can type db socket okay so db socket then okay i, I not remember the what's the what we call uh socket socket mem uh, my super okay Okay, see the the MySQL socket ah, so you can copy here. So this is my default directory. Ah. I'm not sure you guys. Ah. So this one just only for uh mem user, okay, mem and mac user. Okay. So once done, so go back to uh. So your app running right, so you need to stop it first. Okay, stop it and then run it back okay so just restart ah so once done okay go back to another uh, command line try to run page view at my guy i'm not sure is it uh, successful or not try ah. oh successful okay so it's already migrated so you can verify through our uh, my page uh, what we call page view my main oh see there's some migrations and post table already there oh is an awesome hmm <laughs> three months three months okay all right so okay so the tables ready uh, created okay so next you need to open uh, bootstrap inside bootstrap folder and then app.php okay so you need to uncomment lah okay so you need to uncomment uh, uncomment app service provider eh, sorry sorry not this one sorry sorry My, uh, uh, wait 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 no, not this one you need to uncomment this one okay so why we need to uncomment this because you want to use eloquent okay inside lumen okay if if you uh, didn't uh, uncomment this so the possibility to use uh, eloquent uh, query is none nah. all right so you need to uncomment this line so app with ilukun 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 look i don't sure how to pronounce that okay so once once done okay you need to update your your routing okay right maybe you can you can close all of this okay go to routes okay web.php okay if you notice they only web.php okay they are no uh, API do PHP blah 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 like Laravel because uh, it's just a, a lightweight framework so it just a simple uh, sim simple framework okay so this is where you set your API endpoints uh, right okay 
So, okay, compare to uh, Laravel, right? So if Laravel, you need to, you can use uh, Lacy route. Uh, you can use resource for your API endpoint, so it can cover for all and uh, API endpoints. Such uh, as, such as, let's say you want to retrieve all the records, you can uh, retrieve specific record based on ID or uh, create new record, update record, and delete record. But for Lumen. I think uh, you need to specify each API endpoints. Each uh, is a uh, each function is different uh, different API endpoint. Uh. Okay, I will show you how to do that. All right, so you can type this. So router get okay. So you can uh, this is just uh, you can customize ah uh, based on your depends up uh, up to you uh, you want to how to customize right so post controller okay, add index all right okay so this yo how uh, this is, uh, API point to grab all the records okay to retrieve all the records. So this so second one is to retrieve specific record based on ID. So get so post so I prefer no S. Okay. Then the ID right. Okay, so all the uh, uh the, the API format will be in press uh just some format. So post controller at show okay next we will create a new api endpoint to create a new record okay router uh, so uh, because we create new right new record so i'm using post ah. okay post so it is a comma okay so post Controller at store. Okay, next we will create new API endpoint to for update. So router post. Oh sorry, update we using put. Okay, so put post. What's difference? Ah, eh, compared to uh, uh create. Okay, store for store. Ah, okay. but we will use same function which is store so later on i will show you how to, to do that store. okay then la, uh, lastly uh, we will create a new api endpoint to delete record based on id okay so delete so we are using delete uh, method and post ID. okay so post control add destroy okay so all the functions here like index show store and destroy we already created huh, during our uh, when we uh, creating a new controller post controller okay so once done okay go to post controller Okay, you can close this one. Okay, go to post controller. Okay, so open this one. Okay, then you need to import a new, uh, new model called uh, post. Okay. Okay, then we will use uh, eloquent to retrieve all the records. Right. Oh, okay. So, Norazin, you have question. Eh? So, I want to know for example, create API to retrieve value from DB to display in screen if there are no value to retrieve. Uh, how API we handle this? Okay. Okay, like example, eh? like like Norazin asked. Eh? Okay, so. Um, okay, like let's say she asked to, to how to create uh to to retrieve the value right so retrieve value uh, like web.php 
see where the PHP okay like this right so you want to retrieve right so we uh we have two two API endpoints so which is we this one to retrieve all the records okay so this one to retrieve specific record no s eh? one record based on id okay all right and then they have a second question if there are no value to retrieve from the db how api will handle this so we will show uh empty array eh? okay later on i will show you inside uh postman okay is it my answer um Is it, is, it, is it correct my uh, is it is it uh, answering your your question no reason okay okay never mind okay so maybe we wait for for her to, to reply yeah. okay go back to post controller okay we will create a new eloquent okay so go to inside index so go uh, inside index function here so we will be using eloquent okay post okay so post with s uh, because a uh, plural right so and then for uh, all then return response uh, post okay okay all right so uh, go to your url here so maybe you can type post right so enter see so let's say if no record right so we will em uh, return empty array all right okay no reason you can you can see on my screen so if there are no record we just uh, uh, show empty array yeah. it depends huh? maybe you can do the uh, let's say if no uh, no records so maybe you can return a, a message it's, it's up to you uh. okay it's up to you right so we try to insert a few records okay uh, go inside post table then insert okay so this one right so we can try first first post okay then this is a first post Two days, six. Okay, and then uh, click go. Okay, then new record just uh, ha, uh just been created. Okay, for this one, then when I refresh, see, this is your response. Okay, so the request just uh empty request ah. Okay, but the response will be like this. This is a JSON format ah. So as you can see, there's an array. Okay, one array, and then in one array, they have a one object. So one object represent this one, okay. So this, so let's say if there uh there is a second record, so we try this one, eh? Okay, second post. This is a second post. Okay. Try this one, ah. Eh? Okay, click go. Okay, there are two records, right? So if we if we refresh. So we be the JSON respond with two, two objects, okay. Still in one array, but in one in one array, they have two objects. So this is the first object, okay, first object, and then this is the second object, okay. But remember, if you want to retrieve, uh, the the uh, what we call the the objects, right? So the the index will always starting with zero. So let's say index 0 you will return the first record if index 1 you will return second object okay so you can understand eh? so i think this is this is just a basic knowledge for api okay all right so once you're done you can proceed with um Okay, we can we we want to try using uh postman. Okay, Be, uh, the reason why we need to use postman because uh for get method we can test it on uh Chrome browser. But if we want to test for post put and delete methods, you need to use postman. 
Okay. So let's say uh, you want you want to get all the records, right? So so the the request just blank request. The response will be like this. So this is your response. Okay. All right. So next, you need uh, we need we try to uh, show only one record based on ID. Okay. So go back to your post controller. Go to uh, show met, uh, show function. Then we need to create a new you can query. So post post then find or fill or not like this. Okay. Then uh, you can put ID here, right? Then we return. So new response. New response. Is it new or I think they need to put new right? Okay, try. Wait, try. Uh, let me try this. No need. Use new response. Just response. Post save okay okay so when you want to test new one you need to restart your lumen okay then start again okay then go back to uh, your browser right here so post without s then let's say you want to retrace uh, for the first uh, object right so the, the id we one okay if i type one then we show in object okay the response will be written one object ah. so let's say two so for uh, second object All right okay crystal clear okay Oh, uh, okay. Nurasin asks, what is the difference between post and get methods? Alright. Okay, so the main uh, difference uh, differences is get is uh, URL parameter. Okay, so URL parameter you can uh, uh, the, re the request uh, the request parameter will be inside URL for get. So for post the request parameter will be in message body, which is you cannot enter via uh, URL. You need to enter, let's say post, right? It's here. You need to enter via message body from here. Okay? Okay, Nurazin. Uh, so, do you, do you know how, uh, what's the uh, differences uh, between these two? So post method is more secure, okay, compared to get, because not uh, it's not revealed uh, on uh, uh, inside the URL. Okay, no reason. So far, so good. Okay. All right. Nice. Crystal clear. Okay, so for uh, you want to retrieve specific ID, right? Okay, specific record. So, post. Okay, let's say uh, one. See, then send. So, this is for first post. Okay, first object. Second object. Send. Okay, so second object. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I think the, the next part is more... Uh, for create and update ah, uh, we use same function, but can do multiple met uh, multiple functionalities uh. right? So find store okay store right. So you need to end end this first ah. Uh. Okay. So we need okay. Try for uh, try follow me this one. So post. Okay, 
request is method okay so put so let's say if uh, put method okay if put method we will uh, retrieve the uh, the id okay. okay try try to do this first try to do this first okay find o fail okay. i think this is It's okay so okay i think we almost finished to for for microservice okay so i uh, id okay, id okay. then post id so we grab uh, request input Oh, 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 input ID and post title quest input title and post body okay so let's say if uh save let's say uh, successfully uh uh create uh create a new record or update new rec uh, record so we return uh, the response uh. okay post save and return response okay. post right oh oh this one really looks like this okay so this is our full code okay once you done so you can run again ah. okay 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 so go back to your uh, postman uh, select post so uh, this time you want to create a new record Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> okay. So go inside body and raw. Okay. Then we send title. Okay. Title and uh, the value. Ah. So they just okay. So for JSON, they must be a pairing. They must be a, a pair of key and value, right? Okay. So we can we, we can select a uh, JSON. So for you can see the, the whole picture uh, how JSON looks like. Okay. Then oh third post. Okay. This is a third post. Okay, so once you done, you can click send. Okay, send. Okay, so this is your response. So uh, successfully, uh, just successfully created a new record. So you can you can verify here. So this is two records, right? So browse, refresh. So this is the record. So you can go uh, try to verify right here. Oh, oh sorry, we must S with S. Okay, so okay, okay. But how if you want to update? 
Okay, if update, you need to use put method here. Okay, put method and then add another attribute. So, we can call it id. Okay, so id, which which uh, id you want to update? So, let's say third post, right? The id number 3, I want to change to 4. 4 post. Okay. Okay, in comma, you need to. Okay, so in JSON format, you need to separate the the data with comma so let's say if you have three data uh, th three data right or three requests ah uh, three request parameter you want to send so we need to sp split uh using comma okay send okay so for post so already updated we try to check so refresh see already change fourth post and refresh see change okay so you get any question before i uh we go to the last uh, function which is delete function okay you guys have any questions so far in your uh in your mind um <clears throat> Okay. Oh. Alright. So, if you have no question, we can proceed to the next function. Last function. Ah. Just delete. Destroy function. Okay. So, destroy function, we will use delete method. Okay. Delete method. You can type this. Okay. So, post... Okay, post find o fill id okay. if post delete then return response okay return response post Okay. Alright, then we go to uh, Postman. So we can select Delete. Okay. Okay, if you notice right, this one. So final field ID. Okay, ID will. Uh, I think we're not using the URL parameter. Uh, sorry, you're using parameter URL. URL. Okay, so this one we not you. Uh, you, you can. Can remove so post so let's say i want to remove uh id number three so this one i want to kick out lah. okay the remove from the database so send okay so this one respond so if i uh, refresh so actually i can i can uh create a new let's say a new uh message so i can tell the user this record has been uh, deleted okay it's up to you or uh, up to you guys uh, how, how you want to is it depend on your creativity yeah uh? okay so fresh see it's deleted okay you guys you have any question before we end this live streaming i think that's all for human macro cps easy right okay you guys so do you have any questions before we end up the Plus. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Guys, no questions? Okay, I'm waiting for new questions. 
Okay, so far so good. Okay, others? If no question, I want to end this session. Okay. So how about Joseph, Shade, Riza, Ace, Azan, Azan. Hmm. Okay, you guys okay? Okay, so if let's say if no, if you don't have any questions, so oh, but and usually, <laughs> okay, but and usually returns what kind of response is uh like I said uh before, you can return and uh, it's up to you, okay, it's up to you. Let's say if what if you successfully updated, you can return, let's say a message or you want to send the status code, it's up to you. Like like this, I just return the. What the uh the the object ah what you already updated what you already deleted or what you have been uh created okay, it's up to you you say if you want to create message also can you can change ah this one let's say post right this one okay for post okay I I, I show some some example lah. ah ah hati no so let's say this one right okay for like post um, uh, post successfully created. Okay, so this is a response message response. Okay, we need to uh, end then uh, run again. Okay, then I try to create new record. Eh? So let's say new record fifth post. Okay, fifth. Okay, then uh, don't forget to change our uh, post. Okay, with new record, then send. See? So the response of post has been created. Uh. Okay, actually, this is uh, not a good response. Uh. You need to put it inside like a uh, string or array. Oh, uh, array or object. Okay. So, so it's better you, you create a, a, a collection. Uh. It's better to do uh, that. Uh, that, uh, that kind of format right so you uh, you guys have, have any questions you guys <clears throat> no questions so far oh, you guys very very good Okay, okay, all right. So, if no questions, if no questions, uh, I want to end this uh, session, okay? So, uh, next, I will, uh, next live streaming, uh, I will teach you how to use uh, uh, load testing class. Uh, I think so we want to, uh, call, we want to do the performance testing uh, between these two websites, okay? So we will be using Jmeter lah. I think I will announce. Uh, I will announce through uh, through my Twitter. Okay, Twitter or group, Facebook group or uh, Telegram. Okay, you can join the Telegram group lah after this. Okay. So if you guys like this video, you can like uh, like this video and share. Okay, then don't, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Okay, so... Take it, take care, guys. So, see you on next live streaming. Okay, bye bye.